It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Yellow Belly Beer and it's a can of this Citra Pale Ale coming in at 4.8% ABV. There's a look at the can. 330 can. Sent from Find My Pint. Sounds pretty interesting. Stick that into the, into the either the Google Play Store or iOS, the App Store and download the app, find my pint. I worked in a pub last year, 2017, it's now 2018, it's now April 2018. I worked in a pub last year and they had one can of this and they put it on a display cabinet to just to show off that they had some craft beers. And I, and I thought, ooh, that looks really, I like the can and it was one of those you're not allowed to touch it, the landlady said. And I thought, oh man, it looks really good. And you know when you're not allowed to touch something, you really want to touch it, don't you? You want to grab it and open it and, and you know, just be a bit mischievous. But I didn't. I waited eight months, nine months, and it was sent to me by Find My Pint. The Citra aroma on the beer, the aroma is, is, is quite, definitely get that Citra hop coming through. But before the aroma, let's talk about the look of the beer, good carbonation rising up the side of the glass. Uh, it's got a two to three finger white head, slightly hazy looking beer. Let's get the aroma. Yeah, that smells really, really good. Fresh, spring, uh, just showing the guys on the live feed behind. I do a live feed now on Facebook, Real Ale Craft Beer on Facebook. Just showing the guys my sunburn, April, it's been a horrible dark winter. The sun is now shining. This smells terrific. It smells terrific. Let's see if it soothes my sunburn. So yeah, lots of citra hop, biscuity, bready notes coming through. But it's massively hoppy. It really is. Nice spice to it. Uh, it's a very tropical. Really orangey, lemony peel, orange peel, lemon peel. It smells terrific. Yeah, let's see if it soothes my sunburn. Cheers. <clears throat> Perfect. Just what I want. Just what I want. Stone the crows. Garden, sunshine, all day, packed up the garden, come in, 10 minutes on the sofa, thought to myself, let's get, let's do some reviews, let's do a review, I fancy a pale ale, something nice, something juicy, something fresh, something very refreshing, and that's what you need down this time of year, something refreshing. And this most certainly is. Good levels of carbonation pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth. Biscuity, bready malts coming through. There's a nice element of sweetness that comes at the beginning of the beer in terms of the flavour, but then that very quickly goes over to being a bitter and flavoursome and, and full of citra hops. Uh, I'm getting orange peel, fleshy blood orange, lemon peel, fleshy lemon. It's a, it's a, it's a terrific, terrific example of a citra pale ale. And it also seemed canned conditioned. So let's get the rest of the can in. Maybe just unfiltered then. Look at the difference now. I've got all the rest of that beer in the glass. Hazy, lovely looking beer. So an unfiltered process then, maybe rather than a, a complete, how should we say, can conditioned process. It's lovely. Yeah, it's just a beer. I mean, look, it's flying down. It's just, it's just one of those beers. Um, there's enough flavour that you could sit down and chill out and, and sip this and just enjoy it and enjoy it for the flavours 
Uh, it's nicely balanced, there's a little bit of sweetness, there's bitterness on the back end that balances the beer out. It's nice spice to it. A little bit of black pepper maybe. And then there's the, the other aspect of the beer that if you had four cans of this and, and like me, you're all red and burnt from the sun, you just you just wanna you just wanna pile four down into you. So so either or really you can you can sit, enjoy it, enjoy it for its flavours and refresh you, or you can just you know, it's one of those crusher beers. You can crush down. I'm gonna rate it. I like this beer enough. I like it enough to give it. It's a very solid eight out of 10. It's an eight out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom, and cheers.